hey y'all what's going on so let's get into this creamy cajun rice it's a lot like jambalaya but it doesn't have some of the components of jambalaya so i hope you guys enjoy this was quick and easy don't forget to like and subscribe so now we're gonna start off with cleaning our shrimp i'm just making sure that that poop vein is out and i'm just peeling it up to like the tail the end of the tail because i wanted the tail part on just for like you know like the pictures of it but if you're doing this at home and you know you're just cooking for your family it would be easier just to pull the whole thing off honestly next up i'm gonna go in with half an onion i'm just gonna dice that up really nice making sure that it's not no big pieces it's small pieces and then after that i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna also mince up four cloves of garlic really really small this is going into the rice so you want to make sure that you try to get it as small as possible if you don't feel like chopping it up um with a knife you could always stick it in a food processor and just make it into like a paste if that'll be easier for you now i'm going in with three tablespoons of butter here let that melt down and now i'm gonna add in my onions and garlic to that let that saute down to the translucent um, this usually takes me about six to eight minutes, but you want to make sure that you have your fire on a medium to low heat because that garlic is going to want to burn very quickly, making sure that you're stirring constantly. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in my seasonings. For each seasoning, I think I used about two teaspoons, I want to say, and on a couple of them, I used one teaspoon. Um, it was just basically some Old Bay, some Cajun two-step. I think I had some Tony's in there, some paprika, definitely for that beautiful color. I also used some onion powder, garlic powder, and I used chili powder. And I used, I think, half a pack of Sazon. But I'm going to add everything in the description for you guys so you guys can visually see it. And I sped this part up a little bit because it was just taking a minute. So don't forget to mix in between adding the seasonings in because we don't want it to start to burn. Like I said, medium to low heat. And now I'm going in with one diced up red bell pepper. If you don't have a red bell pepper, you could use any color. Red was just the color that I wanted to use. If you want to add some different colors to it i would recommend either using red or green that way it offsets the rice now i'm just letting all of that cook down making sure that everything is getting soft especially those peppers that we just added in and then it's going to look like this once everything is getting ready now i'm adding in my washed rice a lot of you guys always ask me what brand of rice I use. I usually use this brand called, I think it's called Medilla, but I'm going to add it in the description. If you can't find that one, I know it's a Spanish brand of rice. I usually would use Uncle Ben's as well. Now, I mixed that all up and I tasted it a bit just to make sure that it had enough salt. It didn't, so I just added in a bit more seasonings. Like I said, make sure that you taste everything that you're making. It's literally just rice water. It's not going to do anything to you. Just taste it to make sure that you have enough salt. You don't want to over salt as well because you can always add in more salt, but it's a little bit tougher to take salt out. Now, I went in with that a little bit more of that sazon as well because I wanted a more yellowish color. It didn't have enough yellow tinge to it for me, so I added in a little bit more. Now, I'm going to go in with um, the chicken stock right here. As far as how much I use, I literally just poured until it covered the rice, making sure that I stopped to, you know, mix it up to get everything nice and flat first before I over poured. And now I just give that a nice little mix um, on my stove. My stove goes up to about 10. So I did it up at about medium. So I want to say about 6 is where I left it at. And I just covered that up and I just let that cook. Don't mix around your rice too much or else it's going to get mushy. Literally just check on it here and there. Just make sure that it's good. Move the top if you need to, but not too much stirring. I'm going in with those same seasonings on top of my shrimp. They will all be down in the description box below as well. The Cajun seasonings and then the garlic, onion, onion powder, all of that good stuff. 
and i'm also going to add in some olive oil to this just to bind everything together and i just give that a nice smooth mix and i set the shrimp to the side and i'm gonna put them inside of the fridge once i mix it up just making sure that all of the shrimps are coated like i said i left the tails on because i wanted i wasn't sure how i was gonna plate this yet so i left the tails on but i definitely would recommend if you're cooking for your family especially if you have kids and stuff i would definitely remove the tails prior to just as a precaution to be safe you know the moms know what i'm talking about because kids just eat <laughs> now mix that up really nice and then i just put some plastic wrap over that and i set that inside of the fridge um until i'm ready for it i took it out about five to ten minutes before i was ready to start frying it up inside of the pan just that way it would be able to get back down to room temp like i said taste everything that you do i'm from the island so <laughs> as we season food we literally just like taste the tip of our finger just to make sure that it's not over salted and i use those same seasonings on the lobster tail i didn't get too much footage of this but i basically just put it in the oven at 350 degrees till it was ready Next, I'm just going to chop up like a handful of parsley. You guys can also use cilantro if you wanted to. It was all up to you. I don't really care for the taste of cilantro, so I just opted out to do parsley, and that worked better for me. You want to chop this up really fine, and now just put it inside of a bowl until your rice is finished. Here's my finished rice. I'm just taking that chopped parsley, and I'm just going to mix that in really nice. You want to add it to the end. Because if you try to boil this, the parsley is not going to be as bright as a green if it would be as um, if you added it to the end. It's going to get kind of like a dingy green. And add more parsley if you need to. You really want to see it in your rice and it's going to give your rice that freshness as well. So if you need more, add more. It's all up to you. If you don't want any parsley, you don't have to add any. You can opt out for, like I said, cilantro or chives. Either one works for you. Now I'm going to just take my cast iron skillet here and I'm just searing my shrimp basically. I know you guys asked me where I get this pan from. I got this one from Walmart. Um, I think it was about, I want to say like $14 or so. It wasn't too expensive. I'm just searing those shrimp until they get like a really nice little crust on them. Nothing too extravagant. Now these are my sausages. I chopped those up. I'm just gonna add them to the same pan that I was frying up those shrimp with. The brand of sausages that I use, I'm gonna add it into the description as well. I get them from Publix. Um, they're really nicely seasoned. They're Cajun and Dooley sausages. Um, and they're really nicely seasoned. So I don't usually have to add any seasonings to these at all. Now I'm just adding some parsley to about two sticks of butter that i melted and i'm just adding in some heavy cream here i want to say i started with about half a cup of heavy cream but you're just gonna have to pour as you go for this one because different types of butter create different types of reactions honestly so this is the consistency that you're going to be looking for and you're just going to keep mixing that around until everything is nicely combined as this sits, you're going to notice that it's going to start to thicken up. I guess as, as that butter starts to solidify more, it gets a little bit thicker. So just be careful how much heavy cream you do add because you don't want it to get too thick. I'm just using some Old Bay here and I use some Cajun Two-Step and some onion powder. Basically the same seasonings that I use in the rice and in the shrimp. Um, I'm using here except for paprika. I didn't put any paprika in this and I'm just giving that a really nice mix Making sure that all the seasonings are broken apart I added my rice to the bowl and I added some sausage to the bowl as well I asked my boyfriend how much he wanted so I just made the bowl his own honestly That's the great part about this You can mix it all up together all at once if you want to or you can do it bowl by bowl because I know my sister, she didn't want any sausage in hers. So she just had shrimp. Now I mix that up. I took out my lobster tail. After it was done, I brushed it with some butter and I just rested that on top. And now we're going to be taking that same creamy butter sauce mixture that we made. And we're just going to drizzle over that. the plate, making sure that we get everything 
don't be scared you know like if it starts to you know start to melt basically it's butter and heavy cream so if it melts down it's okay just mix it in and it's gonna taste the exact same i just sprinkle some parsley on top for the pictures and the tiktok videos that i was gonna take and you have it don't forget to like and subscribe guys i have more recipes coming you guys light up my life in the comments i love you guys so much and i can't wait to post more videos for you guys bye